Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of writing linear equations, specifically how we can write them given a verbal description, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a sample problem down at the bottom, and we need to either write it in slope-intercept or possibly standard form. Let's just see what the problem gives us. So Chelsea spotted a hot air balloon at, with an altitude of 800 feet. So that looks like that's going to be a constant because it's not necessarily given to us with a variable. It appeared to be descending. Okay, so it's going to have a downward slope at a rate of 30 feet per minute. And look at the number of minutes. It's going to be m. All right, so we already have a coefficient right there, 30. And we have one of our variables because we're going to multiply this 30 by the m. Write an equation to describe the functional relationship between the height of the balloon h. All right, so those are our two variables. So it looks like we're going to use the slope-intercept form because I see a constant, right? So that could be like a y-intercept. And I see it's uh, descending at a rate of 30 feet per minute, which means it's going down. So we're going to look at the height, and we're going to look at the number of minutes. So what we need to do is we need to decide what our are our two variables. Now in this case, our slope intercept form has got the y and the x, right? So our x is going to be our independent variable. So this is the one uh, that starts things off and we manipulate this, multiply it by our slope, and we get our dependent variable, our y. Well, they don't give us x and y, but you know what? Take a look at this. They give us 300 or 30 feet per minute. So this minutes right here, the amount of time is going to be our independent variable. So we're going to multiply that by 30, right? But you know what? We're starting at 800 feet, and we're going down. So it's a negative slope. So watch this. We're going to do this right here. We're going to start at 800 feet, and we're going to descend 30 feet per minute. All right, so that's going to be our slope and our x right there. And then what is our h, our dependent variable? And there we go. That's going to go over here. Our height equals the starting altitude, 800, minus that 30 feet per minute. That's how you'd write it in slope-intercept form. Let's look at another example. So we have a new problem here. Sandy can assemble a chair in half an hour, a table in three-quarters of an hour, she works eight hours each day, but take a look at this. We've got two different variables here. We've got the number of chairs, the number of tables, but each one of those, the tables is T right there, and the chair is C right there. So I've got two different variables, and I've got two different coefficients, right? So these two right here are going to be my coefficients. So when I have something that looks like it's got two coefficients, that makes me think, I'm going to be using my standard form, okay? So let's see what my chair is. My chair is half an hour, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that. Um, I could either write it in decimal form or I can write it in fractional form. So half an hour per chair, or I could do 0 0.5 per chair. And then each table is 3 quarters of an hour. That's going to be my T. All right, so let's add that. So that's going to be 3 quarters of an hour. Let's make that look like a T there. Or I could do decimal. You might see it either way if this were a test problem. All right, so that's going to get my two uh, variables and then my two coefficients. Now, what am I doing with this 8? Well, if I'm trying to figure out the number of chairs and the number of tables she can assemble in one day, multiplying both of those by either the one half or the three quarters, well, to me, it looks like that is going to be my C. So this is my constant right here. This eight hours is going to be my constant. So in this form, it's on the other side of the equal sign. It is balancing our equation. All right, so I could write it like that. And if I wanted to, I could isolate one of the variables and turn it into slope-intercept form. But that's how we would write it here in our standard form. 